Right then, with the rainfall still coming down here at Wackersdorf after the, uh, you know, the fact the track had evolved, we've got a nice racing line, then all of a sudden, someone upstairs decided to open the taps. Uh, well, here's your grid for Heat 2 for DD2 Masters. All five drivers braving it on slicks. Uh, so that's going to be rather interesting, depending on how difficult it's going to be if the rain t starts to uh, intensify, let's say. So it's uh, Martina Stankiewicz and Dennis Toole on the front row. Michael Becker on the inside of row two with Thierry de Jong alongside him. Rainer Bourne rounding out the five strong grid. Ten minutes plus an additional lap. And those watching at home, you're probably thinking... These guys must be great. Well, it's their choice if they wanted to. Oh, and Rainer Born has just spun it coming out of turn, to, uh, turn 11. So effectively, all these five drivers have decided to do a Jensen button in the wet. So the formation lap now getting underway. <laughs> and I'm just seeing Martinus Tankovicius heading into turn two and turn three was sideways. Yeah, this is, this is interesting that they decided to go out and brave it. I'm sure they'd be fine. Be, on their heads be it. But they've got to watch out for the standing water puddle on the start finish straight. Especially as pole position is on the right hand side of the track. So the red lights are ignited on the starting gantry. So the drivers now making their way through turn number 14. 10 minutes plus an additional lap into the tram lines we go. Revs rise, lights are out. We are off and racing. And Tankovicius gets the whole shot. Thierry de Jong looking up the inside of both Michael Becker, who's looking to try to get through on Dennis Toulm as they head down to turn number three for the first time. And as Becker and de Jong made sure they kept to the inside, whereas Dennis Hall went to the outside, the back end sliding around as he's trying to apply the throttle through turn number five. And uh, De Jong gets a bit sideways, that allows Michael Becker to get back through for P3. So with nine minutes and 18 seconds to go, So again, some uh, differing racing lines. Thierry de Jong hits the curves going through turn 12, and then Pena Bourne manages to get through, but then Bourne runs wide coming through turn 13. De Jong up the inside. Another crossover between the two. Oh, trying to apply the throttle. Dennis Storm sideways to the right. Tankovic uh, sideways to the left as he came through the, through the brow of the hill going into turn number three.
So we continue on with this adventure into the unknown as Martina Stankovic has a very, very comfortable gap. It's not without saying as the sunshine... Uh, well, I see immediately to my right-hand side just by our folks at the timekeeping that we have got uh, some blue sky up above and that's towards turns 13 and 14. But Martin Stankovic just making the best of the weather conditions. 1 minute 9.893 is his fastest lap so far. And he's five and a half seconds ahead of Dennis Toom. We still have just uh, seven minutes to go, so it's driving on an ice rink with slick tyres here. So I'm going to be interested to see what happens with the next set of races because we will have after this we'll have the juniors up for their third and final heat and there is the Lithuanian driver based out of Vilnius as uh, <laughs> Nice cart control there, going through to the exit of turn one from Dennis Toole. Let's see how Michael Becker approaches it. Ah, nice and steady. Mona Vaughan is actually ahead of Thierry de Jong, who is his antics earlier on this week. Yeah, I thought he would have been fine, um, but not in these weather conditions, I think. But they all decided, well, let's just uh, go out there and, and, and see what happens. And Tankovicius is the one that is uh, really coping with the conditions well despite getting the cart completely sideways. Dennis Toom, uh, Toom still hanging on to second position. So we approach half time in the race. <laughs> Back end steps out to the right hand side for Dennis Tormen. He manages to control it. A little bit sideways there through the apex, through underneath the gantry for Michael Becker. Hannibal, very slow, well, very stationary there. Thierry de Jong, a little bit sideways to the right. Leans in to try and put as much uh, weight down on the left hand side tyres just to keep the grip going through turn number three. So we head into the final. Four minutes and 40 seconds of what will be their penultimate heat of the season. So we're just six minutes completed, four to go. Martinez Tankovic just now has a lead on a race that was that had a deluge of rainfall before all five drivers decided to brave the elements. Uh, he's got an 11.8 second lead. Over Dennis Toole, Michael Becker still holding out in third place with Peina Vaughan, learning out the top four. And Thierry de Jong, not too sure where he is. I haven't seen him come through quite yet. Or whether he's decided. Um, I'm not sure well, he has gone through. And he's about 29 seconds behind the race leader. And he's just... Uh, with three minutes and 15 seconds still to go on the clock. Uh, Raina Bourne's just had a, bit of, a little bit of a mishap going through what was turn number eight, but manages to get it back onto the black stuff and keep going forward. As they're trying to put the power down coming out of the corners, you can hear the rear, rear tyres sort of spool up. Oh, that's complete. Oh, drifting display. There we go, that's through. That's how you do it through turns one and two, Martin. <laughs> Sideways one way, and then does the old Scandinavian flick, and is Dennis Tom going to oblige he does. Not as in the 
the, steer the steering angle that Martinus Tankovic has had going through turns one and two. Very, very impressive indeed. That's probably how he's just going to try and get through to step the back end out when he has the opportunity to do so. As long as he doesn't overstep that limit. Their front wheel slightly jumps off of the uh, surface area of the tarmac going through into turn 10 as he makes his way through turn number 11. And the fastest lap in this race with a wet track and slick tyres, 1 minute 9.078. Let's see if the Tankovicius drifting display comes out this time. Not quite. He decides to think better of it. Through into turn four he goes with just over a minute and a half remaining plus an additional lap. Just uh, interesting to just see how these drivers are We're just coping with the weather conditions. Thierry Dion has called it a day on heat two. I'm not at all surprised on that one, but no, he gave it a shot, gave it a go. to the last 35 or so seconds. So I wonder how brave the juniors are feeling now that the, the DD2 Masters have gone out there on slick tyres. There is par a partially dry track, but it's not much. Not much, really, but with the, the lap times that we saw early on, for, for DD2s, they were they were running pretty much on the pace that we saw earlier on this uh, earlier on today and earlier on this weekend through free practice. As the timer now hits zero, as Martinez Tankovicius makes his way through into turn 11 for what will be the final time. So the final lap board will be shown as Martinez Tankovicius powers his way out of turn number 14. And into turns one and two, a little bit sideways through the first part, decides think, thinking better of it on part number two. So he goes through the final triple right-hander. Makes his way into the turn 9-10 chicane. Still just uh, modulating the throttle as he exits out of the corner. Two more hairpins remain, and then we'll call time on the... what's been an interesting drifting display from this... Uh, very, very softly spoken, very gentle giant is Martinez Tankovic, but a great addition to the paddock here in the Euro Trophy and with also the Lithuanian drivers that have uh, driven with us all the way through the season. Through turn number 13, swings it out wide, out of the final corner, puts down the power, and the chequered flag waves and a drift to celebrate through turn one for good measure for Martinas Tankiewicz from Lithuania, who picks up another heat win here today. Two out of two, and it's putting him on the good foot forward for tomorrow in terms of the two finals. Dennis Toom comes across the line and the gap between the pair, nearly 20 seconds, 19.1 at the end of it all. As we wait for, now Michael Becker comes across the line. And last but by no means least, Heiner Born makes his way through the final couple of corners. And we'll see the chequered flag with Thierry Dion 
deciding to call it a day on lap number five. So it's two for two so far for the man that is hoping to try and win the title here at the race weekend, the final race weekend of the 2022 Rotax Max Challenge Euro Trophy season. Martin Astankiewicz winning from pole position, doing some pleasant drifting to entertain the crowds watching uh, by the sidelines. Ahead of Dennis Torn by 19 seconds, Michael Becker rounds out the top three with Rainer Born in fourth and Thierry Dirong retiring on lap number five.